can you move that back? That's like a really close up view here of, just move this puppy back here a little bit if you would. Yeah. Or I'll move back. All right, I'll just start with an opening statement here. Um, a lot of respect for, tremendous respect for this UCLA team and for Mick as a coach, I think his, you know, career speaks for itself. It's just, it's an unbelievable career he's he's put together. So we knew we were going to face a, they're a young team and I think they're, like most teams, a work in progress and they have a lot of new pieces and, and young players. Um, but tremendous respect, so feel really good about this win. I think it's going to get better uh, even as the season goes on because I think, <clears throat> as is typically the case with his teams, uh, they're going to get better and better. So we figured it would really come down to the last four minutes if we played well. And I know sometimes it you know, wasn't always pleasing to watch, but I give the defenses a lot of credit. How was your hand and what happened before? <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of wish that uh, wouldn't have wouldn't have become public, but no, I, I just was uh, I was frustrated with our, you know, we talked about their physicality on the ball defensively, um, and I thought we were just too casual and too loose, and uh, I just had a moment of, of anger and, and punched the uh, board and split my hand up pretty good. But you saw some responses from your team, like you said, you know, to, to make the plays that you needed in a physical game and answer that kind of challenge. Like, what did you learn about your team? Yeah, I think it's a mentality game, Adam, when you're playing a team like this, because um, I think if you get your, if you get frustrated in a game like this, you know it can go from a two point deficit to a six to eight point deficit, and then it's hard to come. It can be hard to come back. Um, so it's a mindset game. It, we knew it was going to be a rock fight. That's just the way these games are. He's been so successful. Uh, um, the last couple years with a, a great offense and, and an elite defense, um, we knew this year he had an elite defense and an offense that was coming. So we felt like if our defense could keep us kind of hanging around, we would be able to make some plays. And the, the funny thing is, is we had really good execution, the play out of the timeout, Roddy's layup, great execution, exactly what we wanted. We miss it. We had other times we had great execution. The one play where it was a completely busted play was Jamison's three. Um, and, you know, we know that's, that often happens. We had poor execution there, and he stepped up and made a three. On, on a day when, when offense is hard to come by, and you're not making threes at an almost historic rate, I mean, it's been a long time since somebody has made a three in a game. How did your team handle some of that? Like something that's been so good for this team this year was, was a struggle to handle. How did, how did they not get well? I think I think they they stayed they stayed uh, invested in winning. That's probably the best way to you know if you're invested in your own performance, then I think you can naturally get really discouraged when you're not making shots. I, th I think they stayed invested in the team winning, and I think uh, at the end of the day that allowed them to play both ends effectively. So my simple answer was the guys that were missing shots that were open. I thought we had clean looks at them. Outside of a couple threes, I thought we had pretty clean looks. Um, but they stayed invested in the team winning. And um, when you don't, um, you know, bad things happen. I thought, I thought our guys did that and found a way. Winning on a neutral site like this where you could possibly come back again, is this something you can go back and draw on? Yeah, no, I think this is, this is good for us. You know, this is good for our league. You know, I know, I know, you know, people like to sometimes take shots at, at, at our league. The reality is our league's one of the best leagues in the country. It's the third best league in the country right now. It's one of the very deepest. It's having a good day today, I think, with Mich Michigan State's win and Purdue's ahead right now. It's a very deep league. Uh, so this helps us. This helps our league because I do think UCLA will have a good year. Well, you know, as was the case uh, the other night, you know, when you have halves like that, it can be a lot on you, it can be some on you, it can also be a byproduct of the team you're playing. You know, we are playing another team there, so not every turnover that we um, made was unforced or was a poor play on our part, they deserve credit. So I think we had to correct the ones that were uh, 
correctable and accept the fact that there's going to be some plays like that. Just uh, after taking the week off to come back and fight through this, just uh, I don't know how impressed are you, I guess, in terms of how you guys approach this. Really impressed. It's a heck of a win, guys. It's a heck of a win. I mean, there's no, you know, we struggled making shots. We played a, a team that is a good team and tough to play. I mean, look at their scores against Gonzaga and Marquette. And, um, who else did they play really close? Uh, just Villanova the other day. I mean, look at their scores. Um, they're going to win some games this year, so I couldn't be more impressed. But I've been impressed with this group, you know. The, we're, we're obviously still young. Um, he's a little more reliant on freshmen right now than what we are. But we're still young. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's a really good win for us. You know, it's, it's, it's as good a win as we've, we've had in a little bit. Bruce was really fighting it, it seemed like. Uh, yeah. Well, I think you've watched him long enough. Adams watched him long enough to know that kid's got real special stuff inside. He's got real special stuff inside. And um, yeah, I don't know how else to. He's just got special stuff that allows him to come back from poor plays. He had to settle down a little bit in the second half. That's why we took him out. But uh, man, he really got to his spots in the second half in the mid range. Yeah. I thought it was his best minutes uh, on the season, Adam. Thought it was his best minutes in terms of just he created an extra possession. Um, he forced a turnover on the post trap that we put on uh, Bona. The Dale got the uh, the layup. The layup. Um, thought he was active on the glass. Um, I thought it was his best uh, his best moments uh, so far this year. He's only going to get better. Yeah, we had really good, uh, like, like I said, re really good execution against their, their press late. Uh, the one where we got it to Bruce and Roddy got to the free throw line, I thought we got to our spots. We knew they were going to trap without fouling. Um, Bruce is so good in those situations, did a great job stepping through. And then after the timeout, guys did a really good job executing what our staff drew up. Um, Mike Netty did a good job drawing up the special situation, um, end of game alignment that we had talked about. Um, it's just a little bit of a different alignment. Thanks, All right, guys. Thanks.